Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse, and you're watching Now You Know. And on this episode, we're going to show you what can happen to your tires when you drive in very low. All right, so we've got this set up here. We've got our Activon on this very precarious setup. It's about mm, three inches from the road when we're on very low. Um, and we're just gonna, we want sort of this view of the tires so we can see how the camber changes when you go from very high to very low. Now, what's camber? So camber is, I don't know if you've ever seen like some really decked out cars. But basically, normally your tires are straight up and down, but if you can adjust the suspension, they'll tilt inward. And some race cars do this for turning advantages or speed. So wait, so as we go low in the Tesla, the camber of our wheels change? Yeah, so during our trip we noticed, or actually one of, one of our viewers noticed that our wheels were getting scrubbed on the inside. So basically when we were up in Montreal, one of our viewers told us that, that our tires, after 8,000 miles of going driving in very low at, at high speeds, we had worn out the inside uh, tread of our tires. You're seeing pictures of them right here. Um, and so those basic, those tires were pretty much ruined. Yeah. Um, and so we are doing this video to let you guys know who are driving Model Xs. All Model Xs that we know of right now have air suspension, so you're probably out there raising and lowering your car, having fun. Yeah. But just know this, when you go into very low, you, the camber is changing, like Jesse explained, and you are wearing out the inside of your tires. So don't drive in very low for very long, or you'll be doing premature damage to your tires. Yeah. All right, let's see what happens. Cool. All right, so now we're going along. I'm gonna go to very high. So you can definitely see the car going up and down, but at least I can't see any change in the camber angle. So we'll set up a static shot to see if we can see the camber angle changing. So what's the takeaway from all this? Well, I formally asked Tesla to add this to their owner's manual so that everyone is clear that changing the ride height on your air suspension changes the rear wheel camber angle, and that can wear out your rear wheel tires prematurely. Thanks for watching. To see our other videos, click below. We love comments and we hope you subscribe to our channel. Now you know.